I'm living in Boulderville. Like I think it's like the 7th, 18th or something. I'll have to double check. Thursday. Don't remember exactly. Oh, um, it looks like a nice day outside. I had insomnia. Oh, I should have put my lights on. I have these infrared lights. I put it, should have put them on myself, but I forgot that I had them. My mind is still trying to catch up to where I am, I guess. Um, uh, so yesterday, I, Eric swam. No, oh, I even wrote it down. Hang on. I Eric swam two kilometers in forty minutes. I didn't write it down. Yeah, Eric kilometer. I Eric swam two kilometers in like forty minutes on level seven. Um, and then I got on my my bike and I was gonna try and ride like 56 miles because I'm trying to train for the Ironman, the half Ironman. So that's, you go out in the lake and swim two, two uh, 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 kilometers and then you ride 56 miles and then you run 13. So I'm not in the mood to do any bicycle riding outside. Since I started, it's been freezing. It hasn't been warm enough. And it's kind of, it's like a good temperature now, but I'm just not in the mood. Um, the, the music is better when you're inside and, uh, I don't want to bonk or get tired suddenly and then have to slog home. <sighs> I'm just not in the mood for that. It's not fun. Um, I prefer to just get off the bike when I get tired. Like I'm wasted every morning. I'm, I'm totally wasted now. But the thing is, and I mentioned this over and over again, um, the feeling of being completely and totally wasted from the day before, it's the same exact feeling. It's just being extremely out of shape. Like, I mean, more out of shape than any, like, athlete even can comprehend. Like, I'm talking the level of, like, a huge obese person. He was in pain all the time, so. So, like, I'm, I'm here and I'm in pain, but I'm thinking to myself, well, that could just be because I'm out of shape, you know? Yeah, sure, I'm tired, but... <laughs> I think the best thing to do is just to um, keep training all day, every day, until, until, like, my strength starts to go down. That'll be the gauge if I'm overcooking myself. Because yesterday I felt wa wa uh, wasted, but I was actually stronger, you know, so. Uh, so anyways, I didn't ride the whole 56. I rode two hours, so. I, 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 I did uh, Erg, Erg, Vasa Erg swim for 40 minutes or something, two kilometers, and then I rode about two hours. Um, I think I had like four hours or something to try to do the 50 miles, but uh when I looked at my watch, I mean, my bike computer after two hours, the battery had died again. And when I first turned it on, I saw that the battery said zero, and I hit start, and it started. So I just figured it was <laughs> slow to respond to the charge, but because when I picked it up, it was charged. But I think the problem is on the other end, it wasn't charged in, or the cable was bad. So um, I plugged it to um, my other cable charger here. And I uh, looked at it like a few minutes later and it, uh, it said 3%, so it was charging slower. And then I looked at it again and it said 100%. So, yeah, now I know how to charge my bicycle computer. Um, because when I realized my bike computer, and I did before I, um, before I started, it actually gave me the opportunity to upload my other ride that died halfway through. And I was like, it died. I had already made it like 30 something miles before it died. So I don't know how I was going five hours. Okay. <laughs> with five hours and uh, made it 30 something miles before the computer died. Day before yesterday. So um, I. Um, um, 
I just kind of lost my motivation when I noticed the computer is dead. You know, I'm one of those people who needs to record their exercise or else it like doesn't happen. If you're not recording it, it doesn't happen. I'm one of those guys. So, um, I went and stretched, I think for a whole hour, actually, after that, I still had enough energy to stretch and which I obviously needed to do. Um, I, well, I'm trying to stretch myself into, into, uh, the splits and it's an advantage to me if I stretch from the very beginning before I start building muscle because I can build uh, limberity as I build the muscle because I was um, doing various stretches and then I tried the one where you try to touch your palms to the ground you know as you're standing up without bending your knees and I almost did it it was really um, surprised I almost did it and the reason I'm so damn limber is because there's no muscle in my legs you know, I stretch for like half hour, an hour, and the tiny little, like, my tiny little legs, there's not no muscle to stretch out, so I, I just was pretty much able to do it, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep, keep that consistent, yeah, my legs are super spindly, uh, riding my bike, I can see they're super skinny, I need to, I want to go into the gym, and plus there's no, there's no power, you know, I have no power in my legs, and I can't, if I sprint it, they'd get burned out. And um, I don't know, I have to guess what my wattage is, because my bike computer's dead for the last two rides. But when, the, when I did the first ride, like a week ago, whenever, whenever that was, because I took three days off after I was shy, um, I was hammering like 150, 160 watts, which is really, like, really weak, like that's less way less than half or a third of what a regular pro would be doing it's like half what a pro woman you know like a third of what a pro dude would be doing um but but i think i was stronger the last two days so i'm curious to see what my power is going to be now the computer's charged um i do have a strava i, I bought <laughs> I brought a membership at Strava so I can upload those, but I was, and I'm going to get a membership at Zwift, but and do the FTP test, but I'm not ready for any of that stuff. I'm still, I mean, I still haven't gotten around to clearing off the, the top of my bike table. So yesterday I got up, it's like 11 now. I got up something like 11 because last night I had insomnia all night long until about sunrise, like really late, you know? To like sunrise, I think I even remember seeing the sun come out, and as soon as the sun comes out, my my eye can like recognize the light or something, and it sets my circadian rhythm to put me to sleep. So, um, I slept from like sunrise until like eleven. So, um, I'm ready to go. I got my REM. I was dreaming about my van. I was in some foreign world that doesn't exist now, and I was driving my van around, driving people in my van around, like a town, just having fun or whatever. And that's all I remember, though. Um, I forgot to talk about my dream right when I woke up. So I'll try to remember that. Uh, maybe I could set a lot. No, well, not a one, but maybe I could put, like, a piece of paper up that says... Um, your dream, talk about your dream, talk about your dream, because I still have way too much weed in my brain, and I probably have, like, 30 seconds to remember my dream, but if I wake up, and it's, like, within 30 seconds of waking up, and then I record the dream, there's a chance I can get into dream world, where I can, uh, it opens up, and then I remember all of it, and I don't let it lose it, because I'm thinking about it, so, uh, and then, it's an interesting happen thing happens when you when you do that because you can suddenly start remembering all of your dreams you've had in your life it's like dream you're you're they're like walking around dream memory territory in your brain <laughs> which is good i think it opens up reconnects that part of your brain again you know i'm super excited about going back into dream world um i quit smoking weed and my roommate doesn't offer me weed anymore but uh, i was finding joints for two days in a row a couple days ago in my drawer they just would suddenly bing magically appear so and then that turned into my bike computer magically not working um so yesterday i got up at like 11 or whatever and then i see I, it was like five until i finally started exercising say so how much time i could i got up late and then i called my mom and um 
she wanted me to go over there and help her, and I did a lot of stuff, actually. We um, organized basement, brought crap up from the basement and threw it away. I vacuumed her whole house, and then I gardened her backyard and front yard. I did a whole bunch of stuff. I was there for, like, a couple hours or something, and she gave me some rice and veggies and um, and a watermelon. So, um, last, last night... Um, I can't remember what I ate yesterday. It wasn't that much, but last night when I was writing, I ate a lot of like watermelon and uh, gra uh, rice and veggies, so I wasn't that hungry when I started writing, and then I started to get kind of bonky. So I uh, had a couple mouthfuls of my goo, and uh, and then afterwards, I had <laughs> part of a uh, sandwich that my roommate got a couple days ago that he gave me. One of these, like, meat sandwiches. It only had the... He had taken away the top bread, so it was just the bottom part of the bread and the meat, but... <sighs> ate that, and then, um... Uh, the rest of my strawberries and a protein drink, and uh, that's all that I had to eat yesterday. Oh, and then last night, because I had insomnia, I was drinking orange juice. 11 o'clock at night, I suddenly drove in the, in the store and buy orange juice. That was the only food that I bought yesterday, because I was craving orange juice. I didn't have that for breakfast, um... And then I was eating chips and salsa last night, so I think I am particularly tired now. I'm getting weaker, um, but I still have enough energy to uh, try and so, um I was kind of vacillating this morning between doing triathlon and uh, weightlifting, but now that I've been thinking about it, I think I'm going to do weightlifting just because I haven't weightlifted in my room yet, and I want to give it a try. I only weightlifted once since I started getting back in shape just one day in the gym the other day. Um, but the other thing that I want to do is try to see if I can do an Ironman in my room or at least see how close to an Ironman I can get in my room. The bicycling, 56 miles indoors, is going to just take forever, dude, like eight hours just to do that. So the swimming is only like 40 minutes. So I'd get up and I'd swim 2K and then I'd ride 56 miles and I'd jump on my treadmill and try to run uh, 13 miles, you know. Um, I think... If I, if I allow myself to recoup and get my energy back, I think I could do it as long as I start, like, 5 in the morning. Um, I can barely walk um, and run. I was, like, at 2.5 miles an hour, and I had to hold on to the rails. I can't run more than a, a half mile before I have to start holding on to the rails, and then I can only go, like, 3 miles an hour. So running is by far my worst. I'm, like, ridiculously weak for that. But, uh... And I'm pretty weak on the bike, but the one thing that I'm not like totally weak is the Eric swimming, and probably even in the pool, I wouldn't be that bad, even though I, I can't do a flip turn, because <laughs> I'd like run out of breath. Oh, I'm like getting all these like Facebook friend requests. I'm getting like every five minutes, I get another Facebook friend request. I think it's a bunch of Africans, or Africans posing as white people. But I'm accepting all of them. One of them asked me for money, so I just blocked him. If they, when they ask for money for their, like, orphanage in Africa, I just block them. Um, but uh, I went from, like, 338 friends, like, yesterday up to, like, 445. <laughs> I guess you have, like, a maximum of 5,000 friends. Oh, I think some of them are even, like, liking my photos and stuff, so... Yeah, fuck it. I'll just say yes and then crank up my friends all the way up to, like, 4,900, you know? I'll leave some spaces free in case actual people want to be my friends. But uh, it's like, hey, if some bunch of Africans want to be my friend, I'll go bump up my friend list. Maybe they're actual people with, with pages, and uh, I can stream my training to them <laughs> on Facebook. Um, I have a whole studio and gear. I'm going to wait until I have a day off to, uh, try to figure that stuff out. But right now my priority is try to get back and shit. <laughs> I spend so much time at my mom's house for the last few days. It takes me forever. I think I'm going to, you know what? I think I'm not even going to call her. I'm, I'm kind of getting sick of not having time to exercise until late. So, um, so after I do this video, I think I'm going to lie in my belly just for a second. <laughs> And, um, and then I'm going to get up and, um, I'm getting a little bit hungry, which is good. 
Um, that's one of the gauges on if I'm getting in shape is if I wake up hungry and I start to, you know, get stumble rumblings. I don't even know what I have for breakfast, um, but I'll pick out as much as I can. But that's kind of the problem. I get nauseous and I can't really eat. Like after I was done riding yesterday, I, I had some like protein drink and I felt, I felt like I thought I was going to, there's a really good chance I was going to throw that up for a few minutes there. So I pretty much took it to the max as far as nausea goes. Um, that's kind of like my gauge for training. It's my new gauge. It wasn't before when I was younger, but it is now. Uh, you train as hard as you can until you bonk, and then you eat as much as you can before bonking, before barfing, but you can't, but, but enough food to keep you from bonking. And then when you're off the bike, you eat as much as you can the rest of the day without barfing. So it's all about barfing. <laughs> and then when I run, um, when I ran the other day, my insides were, were sore. My, I could feel my, uh, like they're actually sore like muscles, my uh, intestines. So it's going to happen again when I start running. So anyway, uh, enough talking. Um, so uh, we'll see what I can do today, but I'm starting to wear out, which is fine because my body is starting to get leaner. Um, and... Uh, uh, my roommate, I was chatting with my roommate a little bit after my ride too, and he's fixing to move out. So I'm hoping that, uh, uh, I won't, I'll sell my car before my roommate moves out. Uh, my mom is trying to sell my car, but she's a, like a, not a, not a very smart person, 79 years old. So she's going to be getting scammed by every scam and I can't control her when she makes up her mind. She just makes up her mind. So yeah, some dude called who can barely even speak English, and he's like, yeah, pay me 500 bucks, and I'll put you on my eBay. And she's like, oh, thank you so much. Aren't you awesome? That turned out to be a scam, but it, whatever. It wasn't anything I was going to do. Somehow my mom can't sell my car. I think she's, like, asking too much or something, but I, I knew my car wasn't going to sell. Um, but I need to sell it before... Um, before my roommate moves out because I get my rent money from him, and... Uh, I'm going to have to do something for money. Even after he moves out and after I sell my car, I think I'm going to need it. My mom wants me to go get a job because she's a mediocre person. She wants me to just go get some like minimum wage job somewhere. And I'm like, that'll make me so depressed. I'm 47 years old. Like I should be making money off my website and my YouTube and stuff by now. I've never made a single penny off my website because I, uh, I think because I, like if you look at my, um, LinkedIn and stuff. I pr I profess shutting schools down, so that shuts the economy down, so it freaks everybody out. All the idiots in this world think that uh, having a healthy economy means giving people jobs, and that's fucking couldn't be the farthest from the truth. Go to a place like Chile, and you'll understand that that's all bullshit. They have all these jobs just to create a job because you need like unemployment. You don't do, you don't you don't give somebody a bullshit job just to give them a job. You could give somebody money to give them money. But if you want to give somebody a job, only a job that actually should exist. How many jobs for jobs? So anyways, um, so I'm like the enemy of all the people who have money. So, uh, but I need to work on my, um, my website um, and explain myself. And then I can become irre irreproachable if I explain myself on my website. But I just don't have the time for that. So, um, so um I am going to um, have a, yeah, lay on my belly a little bit. I have to keep it, you know, keep my pace high so I don't fucking wait until 6 o'clock in the afternoon before I'm finally ready to start exercising. So, yeah, lay down maybe a couple minutes, one minute. Go put my bed in the living room. Um, I think I'll stretch for a little bit until I start to get really hungry. No, I'll have a protein drink. I'll stretch, but I'll stretch an hour, pig out, eat as much as I can, and then I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to lift weights in my room, yeah. Alrighty, talk to you later.